Like so a couple of the things that we're showcasing um, at the show today uh, and this week, um, obviously the 2.0. Um, one of the big things that the industry and everybody is looking for is that native email experience on Playbook. No longer do you have to bridge from Play Playbook to a BlackBerry smartphone. We have that native uh, email experience ready to go right out of as soon as that upgrade is available. So, um, you know, you get a very, you know, laptop, home type of internet or, or email experience right here while you're mobile. You can see here we got the preview, obviously. We can then, you know, engage this area as well. Um, we can do a reply, reply all, all that good stuff. So all your functionality is there. The really cool thing and, and some things that probably some Blackberries are really looking forward to is the, you know, the uh, auto correction and things like that that's been missing. So if we come up here, sorry, uh, you know, and I do any like type of conjunctions or something. And again, this is just something we haven't been doing just recently. And when I hit space, it puts in the apostrophe. If I double tap the space key, it puts the period in. Things that BlackBerry users are like, where is it? So we've got that in there. And the other thing that's uh, unique with 2.0 is the contacts. So again, native contacts syncs up with the you know the uh, the email and, and your Outlook type of, of contact list here. But it goes beyond that. So it also goes into your contacts uh, from social networks. So if you've got a, a Twitter contact, it's going to come in here too. Now you can easily. You can easily isolate which one you want. Um, if you want to see all contacts or, or the, um, you know, just your regular contacts, but it jumps them all in here. And if I want to get the latest and you know feed from Greg, I just hit my my feed button here, and it shows me what's going on. Now, if I had Facebook and LinkedIn contacts or information on Greg, um, that would all be populated here as well. So it's just a consolidated uh, social contacts experience. It takes it to the next to the next step is calendar. So with the calendar, we've taken and integrated into the contacts or the contacts into the calendar. Whichever way you want to look at it, it's there. Because when I have a meeting, I'm going to see all my contacts that I've invited to that meeting. And again, I can just quickly, if I need to get more information on this person, I can quickly and easily highlight that contact and I've got all their information, including LinkedIn, because they're one of my LinkedIn contacts. So, you know, those are three of the real key components of the 2.0, but there's also some, you know, just basic uh, functionality and, and layout. So we've got, um, We've got kind of this home screen of icons. So if you think about it on a BlackBerry, it's kind of that top row of your BlackBerry, if you will. Um, we've got that going right here. And it's fully customizable. It's nothing that's set in stone. I can drop and drag in and out of that. I can also create multiple panes of icons. So I can categorize my icons on different panes within the, the BlackBerry uh, playbook. So it makes it a little easier to customize and do what I want to do as far as a management and icon management stat, uh, standpoint. Uh, let's see, what else can I show you? Another real cool um, update that we've done is the video chat. I've talked about some of the contacts integration, um, going from contact calendars, my email, all of that's kind of intertwined. And that's something that BlackBerry knows and uh, has been known for. That not wrong. Um, so, Okay, don't get camera shy, Playbook. Let's go. Try one more time. Uh, we are running an early version of the software, so it's definitely not without its uh, fun points. That looks promising. There we go. So again, we've got that so that integration, so we can see you know what contacts we have here connected with video chat. Now, video chat on Playbook is Playbook to Playbook, but what this allows me to see is who is online and who I can chat with. So, if uh, oh nobody's online apparently, I'm gonna try it anyway. Oh, it's probably because my Wi-Fi is dropped. Um, so. Um, when that reconnects, what I'm gonna see is the little camera icon next to everyone. It'll go green if they're available. Okay, so if they're in a Wi-Fi connection, or have a, a stable Wi-Fi connection, it'll go green, and that'll allow me to see who I can connect with. And again,
again, we're just getting a lot of congestion. I don't know why today is the worst day, but uh, anyway. Uh, anyway, that uh, new improved uh, contact and uh, video chat management as well with 2.0. Um, over here, over on the far wall there, you can see the Android app player um, being utilized. That's something we're not necessarily showcasing right here. Um, so, I mean, if you want to take a look at that, what we're doing is just we're showcasing how uh, an Android app that's been ported over and played it, placed in uh, App World is rendering and, and interfacing. So, I mean, it's a, it's a very cool experience, um, the Android app player. Um, just to clarify that, the Android app player isn't necessarily a, it's not an application. It's not something you click and open and now you've got your Android apps it's all of one it's a unified application experience out of app world an android app developer can easily port their application over for placement all that is is it's just re kind of retooling it um, making sure that it's wrapped and, and ready to go for playbook and then it's it's submitted and dropped into app world so and then at that point uh, the app player runs in the background to run that that code so and then when will uh, blackberry 2.0 be next month okay. february we don't have an exact date in February, but uh, February. Thank you. I told them it has to come. I just, like next month, I'll give you four weeks. That's it.